Hello, seventh grade families. Welcome back to another amazing year at Big Picture Elementary uh, with your seventh graders and with me again. Um, I'm excited to have everybody back again for our third year together. These kids have definitely carved a place in my heart and I am so happy to be with them again. Hopefully the, you and they mostly feel the same about being back with me. Um, so far, we've hit the ground running um, as much as possible. I know most of you are aware I've been out for the past two weeks, um, but I'm back and we've had the past two days together and it's been great to be back with them again after being away for a while. So um, I know we were hoping this was going to be kind of a normal year and it's definitely normal-er, but not quite normal. Uh, but these kids have learned how to kind of roll with the punches and they're doing an amazing job at kind of just, well, let's see where this goes now. So um, kind of with that, what are some things we're doing in the classroom to make sure that they stay safe in this normal-ish year? Um, I am definitely enforcing masks. The kids wear their masks all day while they are inside this classroom. Uh, I am staying on them if it starts to slip below their nose, making it, it's got to stay above the nose, below the chin. Um, because we are not social distancing in the classroom, I am making sure that we are as safe as we can be about spreading germs while we're here. Um, they are also washing their hands several times throughout the day um, if they may be sharing tools or anything like that. So um, definitely trying to keep them safe in here, disinfecting surfaces, all of that kind of stuff is happening on a frequent basis to keep them as safe as possible so that we can stay on campus as much as possible. Um, we do not have our normal water fountains on campus um, anymore because germs, um, but there is a refillable water contraption um, where they can refill their water bottles. So please make sure that they are bringing um, a refillable water bottle with them so that way they can have something to drink. Um, it's hands off. They slide it in. There's a foot pedal for them to step onto to refill their water and it's nice cold water, which is super great while we're in um, kind of this hotter weather. So um please make sure that you're sending them to school with a water bottle please make sure you are not sending them to school with unnecessary electronics that is something that we are fighting right now um within the class uh, i know that it has been super hard especially for a lot of them with the distance learning last year to just kind of default to flipping through their phone or flipping on a ds or whatever um and some of those unnecessary electronics are making their way onto campus and are becoming kind of a distraction within the classroom so if you can make sure that they come to school with a water bottle and a mask, but to make they keep all of their other electronic devices at home. I know a lot of them are being sent with phones and that's totally cool, I get it. Um, but need other things like um, smart watches, um, video games, those kinds of things um, can definitely stay home and don't need to come with them to school. Grades are going to be um, in Schoology this year. Um, every parent has a parent access code that you can log in directly and see their grades. I will be sending those home with your students uh, very soon so that you can get a copy of those and you can check their grades outside of just the normal progress reports and um, report cards that come home. So be on the lookout for those. Um, if you don't have it by, I'd say, Wednesday of next week, let me know. Um, you can either text me or email me uh, and I will send you what your access code is so that you can be kind of staying on top of grades and not just get surprised four to eight times a year of well, where are the grades um, as things get turned in. So be on the lookout for that to come. Um, if you have any other specific questions about what's going to be happening, please reach out and let me know and I would be more than happy to um, get back to you. Uh, if you need to schedule just a time to sit together and meet and say, hey, how are we just one-on-one -on -one meeting? How's my kiddo? How are things transitioning back to in-person versus just distance learning? Um, please feel free to reach out. I would be more than happy to sit and chat with you guys and schedule a meeting with you. So um, looking forward to an amazing year in seventh grade together and uh, getting and working with you guys on getting your kiddos through.